Well, I have to be honest and say, what else can you say? It's been a little challenging here for me. It's a 5,000, 100 and some odd uh, number feet altitude. And we had a heat wave at the beginning of the week and I am already heat sensitive. So it's kind of a problem for me. I really wasn't able to get out before four or five in the afternoon. And then of course, this two hour time change. And also uh, I'm in a tourist section. And even though it's a nice tourist section, there are a lot of vendors in the street and it's a little bit, you know, hard to look around people running up to you and say, hey, do you want to buy this? Uh, but mainly I think the purpose for me of travel is where are you in your life, Carol? Where am I and where are you in your life? Because there are challenges to your everyday routine and you have to adjust to them or not adjust to them. <laughs> My friends that I'm traveling with have chosen to drink. That works. That really it works just fine, but I don't get that pleasure. I don't really drink much or on this trip at all. And um, what I found about myself is I've become a person who likes a lot of quiet. I didn't really know that about myself. I like my routine and um, it's been pretty. I like to see the museums that we've gone inside the beautiful churches, but I really, really don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. <laughs> We've had some very good meals. I go, oh, very nice. And I have good meals at home. I just, maybe this is a sign of old age. I mean, I have traveled pretty widely. I've been to Asia, to Singapore, Bangkok, uh, Hong Kong, Rome, uh, Paris, France, uh, um, you know, a little bit outside of the cities. I grew up in New York City, which is an international city. Um, I don't, I'm not trying to say like, I've seen it all. I haven't seen it all, but I don't know that it's worth the discomfort <laughs> to see it, honestly. <laughs> and we really, we're in a very nice hotel. The first night we were there, we came to here without reservations. And I stopped somebody in the airport of Oaxaca. I said, can you tell us a nice hotel to go to? He said, well, you could, I could recommend a hotel to you with rodents or rats. And I said, well, we could skip the rats. <laughs> Thank you. So they sent us to a hotel in um, Zocaro or Zocaro Square, which is day and night traffic music and thing. And sort of interesting, I'll post videos later about this. And this is sort of a video before I post videos of some of the things I've seen. I really try not to post um, the main tourist attractions. You can see much be more beautiful videos of that. I like to post people there. Uh, so I, this is sort of my morning call <laughs> the day before we go home. Uh, I'm very glad it's been a safe trip. And I don't know if I'm gonna be traveling. Uh, I'll tell you one thing, I'm not gonna be traveling at 5,000 uh, feet uh, altitude again anytime soon. Uh, but it's been a pleasure and I've really gotten to know my friends better and they've gotten, they've gotten to know me better. I'm like a cranky old lady. That's what I've become, what can I tell you?